Victoria and I are going to make a short video on the twisting crescent lunge. So all you need is yourself and a small place. You don't even need a yoga mat, although they help to delineate the space. So once you've got your space, come into a lunge pose with the right foot forward. Now, Victoria is able to do it quite easily with her hand to the floor, no problem. But if you can't get your hand to the floor, these are yoga blocks. They're great to use under the hands. And if you don't have yoga blocks, you could use books <laughs> or pillows, or you could just do without it. But what I want you to notice in Victoria's lunge is this long diagonal sloping line, really from the crown of her head all the way down. So she's really engaging that back leg. And at the same time, she's sending the chest forward. So make sure you're feeling your own body, not just looking at the screen. Feel that your back heel goes back and your chest goes forward. All right, now keeping your upper body as it is, just drop the back knee down and send the hips forward so you feel a stretch in your back groin. And it might go without saying, but if this bothers your knee, you can put a pillow underneath the back knee. Now let's try the twist from here. Assuming your right foot is in front, take your right arm up to the sky. Twist your body this way. Now, even if you're learning this for the first time, take your eyes up to the ceiling and feel the twist in your spine and your chest. And then bring the hand down and let's do the same thing on the other side. So you'll have to step your left foot forward and your right foot back. We call it the runner's lunge in yoga. Take your time like we do with all of our poses to set it up properly. Make sure your back leg is long, chest is forward. Take one more breath. All right, now put your back knee down for a moment. You're always free to pad the knee if you need it. You shouldn't hurt yourself in yoga or anywhere. Keep the hips forward like Victoria's doing so you get a stretch in the groins. And then very slowly take your left arm up to the sky. So we're doing the same posture we did on the first side. Keep your hips forward. Keep lifting the chest. One of the things about yoga you'll notice is that we often hold the poses longer than you might want to. And then take the hands down. Now let's do this pose with a little extra challenge. So you can come back to the first pose again, right foot in front, left foot back. And the challenge is to do it with the leg up, the back leg up. So keep your back leg strong. Assuming your right foot is in front, take your right arm up to the sky like you did before. So it's virtually the same pose with added difficulty because the back knee's off the mat. Now in this pose, you try to keep your hips squared so that the twist is not in the hips, it's in the spine. Look up, lift the chest up. And then take your hands down and we'll do the other side. Step the left foot forward. Once you have that nice long back leg, take your left arm up and twist with the whole spine. You really want to feel that you're twisting from your low back, from your stomach, from the chest, the sternum, the shoulder, the fingertips and the eyes. Inhale. And with your exhale, take your hand down. Step your back foot forward and just hang here in what we call a ragdoll position. You're just hanging the head like the name implies. Really loose, stretching out your back. Take two more breaths here. Let the legs stretch and the back stretch. And 
then you can release the pose. And that's the twisting lunge pose.